um, I'm, this is my, uh, oh gosh, is it my ninth? I think it's my ninth in a series of videos on uh, Why So Many Guitars, Acoustic Edition. And uh, this kind of is one of those ones that leans towards uh, not needing to be justified because it's so different from uh, just a, a normal acoustic guitar, but it is six strings. It's tuned like a guitar. Um, but this is what you would call a gypsy jazz guitar or Django guitar, and this is a Del Arte. Uh, they're made in San Diego. Um, one thing I like about buying, particularly buying local, um, you know, buying Taylor guitars and um, uh, this guitar, because they're both made in Southern California, I think, I've, I, have a, I feel like they, they will probably last longer because the woods are more conditioned to the, to the environment that I'm living in. Um, a guitar coming from Bozeman, Montana or from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, might be used to the wood might be used to a certain temperament a certain uh, uh, humidity that is not going to be present here in California and because uh, this is a pretty dry climate I have to run a humidifier in my guitar closet uh, pretty much non-stop um, even when it's raining it can be you know it's just I just keep it going so this guitar is uh, a little different um, that it's it's uh, got this beautiful maple uh, tiger stripe maple back and sides normally I think they're mahogany um, I was looking for a Django guitar. I, I, I love Django Reinhardt. I love those guys that can play that stuff. They drive me crazy because they're so amazing. It's this, I, I, I think it comes in the category of um, the, three, the three styles of music that, for guitar players that kind of defy logic. And that's flamenco, rockabilly, and gypsy jazz. Because when you study, like, when you're studying rock and, and and jazz, when I was studying as a kid, one of the things that I learned to be able to play really fast would be to play really tight and small motions and, you know, that way you were able to, you know, uh, get your pick back and forth quickly and all that. And flamenco and and uh, rockabilly and, and gypsy jazz all use the same kind of like this devil may care flying, like killing the strings, playing really hard and yet they're insanely fast. It drives me crazy. So, <laughs> This guitar, I, I, I bought it because I want it. I really love Gypsy Jazz. I play a little bit of it. I've got a couple of recordings that I've done just for fun and for TV shows and stuff. Um, but uh, I, would, I wanted to have one that I, that, you know, it was kind of one of those purchases you buy thinking, okay, this is going to, I'm going to spend enough money so that it makes me work on it a little bit more. I think, if you, I think I'm sure you know what I mean by that. And it's actually, that does work. I mean, it's a lot of times if you invest in something and it costs you something, you're going to put a lot of work into it. This guitar is kind of... Um, is that for me? And Django would use very simple three note chords, sometimes even two note chords. Um, a lot of minor sixths. Minor six and minor nine and ninths and six. Just, just kind of ooze gypsy music. And I'm actually, my heritage is I, I do have a little bit of gypsy in me. So it's, it's, I, maybe that's why it resonates or why why I really like the music so much. So anyway, this is uh, the sound hole is a little bit smaller. You can see the bridge is different. It's actually not attached here. This is more just kind of. Uh, for show here, but this this bridge, this whole part of the bridge is attached to the top. Um, the uh, strings are attached to kind of a floating uh, tailpiece here, and you can see how it's screwed in there at the end. Um, so it's it's it definitely going to resonate different than um, than a normal uh, six string. It definitely doesn't sound like any of my Martin or my Taylor. Or, choked but you know it has a fun sound to it kind of a Jack Johnson sound so it can be used a lot and I'm using a Wigan pick um, very very thick Wigan pick I think it's three millimeters for the Django stuff it's easy to get that round tone fast. With with a 
very heavy and thick pick. So anyway, so that's the uh, that's number nine, I think. Oh my gosh, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna have to redo this whole video. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. I got one more. I'm not gonna do the nylon guitars, I don't think. I've got one more for you, a really special guitar, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that out soon. Okay? God bless you guys, I'll talk to you soon.